How's it going? Had better days. Heard that. So what we have here is uh, this is a uh, deeded property owned by the tribal community. This is a BLM numbered route. This isn't submarginal. This isn't reservation. This is deeded property in the state of Montana. Right. And I'm, they've got me pretty well detained here on this open public road. Okay. How's it going, guys? Oh, Kirk Paulson. Hawking, Hawkinson. Nice to meet you. Hawking? The chief of police. Okay, Travis Peck. Nice to meet you. Don't think we've ever met yet. No, not yet. So the issue here is um, I'm aware of your tribal resolution. I guess my question is jurisdictionally, okay, the authority to stop and detain me on a county road in Blaine County within needed property. I mean, it's a county road that goes through. I'm not disputing that this is needed property that is owned by the community. Okay, state of Montana. This is an open road. That's a BLM number trail and a county road. BLM cattle guard, BLM sign. I've been detained. I feel like my civil rights are being violated. Okay, and that's and I was actually that's my point of view is also that okay. their civil rights are violated. Understanding, this has been a, a, an ongoing thing for a couple of years now. Um, so uh, it should have been resolved by now. Uh, we, apparently, it hasn't been, um, and it's still having the same problems that that were that were happening in, in the past. They're still happening today. So I mean, I guess the thing is that. Uh, My question for everybody here is, what can we do? Let's get him out of here. We all go home. We all sit down somewhere tomorrow, the next day. I don't care when, but let's get all everybody yeah, sit down. Okay. They said that uh, the, on each time they had told uh, told the tribe that they were going to resolve this issue. The issue was going to be resolved, but it's not. Um, on, on that resolution, it specifically states that that uh, that working together, that they would they would notify us, request permission to come to cross all tribal land, all right of ways. That's what that resolution says. It doesn't say whether it's BLM or or trust land or what. It just says all rights of ways. What standing? And, and does, that's what this is right here. What standing does tribal law have outside of the reservation? Right. What, no, what I, 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 you how is that even valid that, that, here, maybe where maybe we that, stand, maybe, right here? Maybe that isn't for us to answer. Uh, well, it's if a, you're going to issue. enforce it, I it's would hope issue. you could answer Well, I'm enforcing tribal law. Okay. And, Which, and if tribal law is unconstitutional or, so you or say, are not right or whatever, that's, that it can't be decided by me. That's yeah, that, be that's decided by someone else. I will. Uh, I will say that in the state, we have reached out to Tribal Fish and Game on several occasions with a memorandum of understanding, which was rejected, a signing project, which was we did not receive much support for. Um, we several things have occurred. Um, getting, I mean, it takes two to tango. I would say. We requested three meetings. You know, we, we were the ones who requested them, so we have. We had three meetings. No. And we, and we the talked la about... And the last one, the chairman, the Mark yeah. Agnew, the president, tribal president, and your supervisor, Tom Flowers, was there. And, and it was, everything was discussed. You know, there was a lot of issues other than this. But this was one of the ones that was discussed. And that's where it ended. You know, there's no... Nobody in my agency would have ever agreed to restrict our travel down an open county road within the state of Montana. I don't know. The, the council did it. I, I wasn't on the council. I, I understand, but the council has no authority where we stand right here. Well, you own you own private deeded property. No one's disputing that. This is the tribal's deeded property right here in the state of Montana. Falls under state jurisdiction. Well, that's your opinion, I guess. The council's got a different one. So. Submarginal is a different designation. That's to be considered reservation. That's it. 
No one's disputing that. So, uh, that's where we stand, though. I mean, so and, I, I and, offered him a and Mark offered Azure, him a chance to, to 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 leave. You know. How did? How and when did you offer me a chance to leave? Hill there, I said you're you're welcome to go back through and, and go well, back now, and request permission, like the resolution says next time. And, and when did you refused. offer? Now hold on. When did you offer me a chance to leave? In fact, you pointed at me Not and here, said up you on, said up on the you hill. pointed at me up there and said come through our property and see what happens. No, see I, what I, happens. No, I and then you at, waved for the other guys that, to come here and you set up that, a roadblock. That was after you you started you started being to me being unreasonable. It ain't up to me to dis to discuss the legalities of this. All I know is I I'm a sworn officer for Fort Belknap tribes. Okay. And, and that's the res that's the tribal law right now. Well, my thing is, what what can we do to put this to bed today so we can go? And the sheriff's in on it now, so he's going to be following up on it. Yeah. Um, I know he's calling some powers that be, and I, I know there's going to be some things, you know, some ground shaking going on. So what can we do to get everybody out of here so everybody can go home, go about their business? We call for a tow truck. We're going to tow the vehicle, take it to the shop, and then, and then whatever. So you're, you're, stealing, you're going to steal my thing. If you have no authority, just tow it. Isn't that stealing? No, it isn't stealing. Of course, in tribal jurisdiction. We do that, uh, we do that uh, tribal members, you know. We do that uh, to non-members. We confiscate their, their weapons when, they're, when they violate tribal law. We, we confiscate. Okay, I, I, we could I'm, confiscate not a, I'm not a tribal that. member. The no, tribe we, has we no jurisdiction that, over that top to of We do that to non-members, too. The tribe have, has no jurisdiction, jurisdiction over top of it, especially civil. here, off-reservation, on-state jurisdiction ground. See, that, that's your opinion, you know, that's, a, that's the question that needs to be addressed here. I don't, All you would have had to do, Derek, was person. call. All you had to do was call you the chief of police. I, will, I do not need to call to drive down an open road in the You know, we've had, we, uh, in the past, uh, I don't know, maybe you guys aren't up speed, but we did a, we did a hunting. You know, we did a signing project down here. They were posted. Of course, it got vandalized and destroyed. But we uh, we provided these maps, okay, that said open open roads, uh, where tribal licenses are valid, where state licenses are valid. And that was provided to Tribal Fishing Game when Mark was Wasn't still right the, on the director. We're on country. We're so the when <laughs> that was all agreed upon then, that these of what where licenses were valid and where they weren't, valid, that was all agreed upon. That was distributed. Uh, amongst tribal members through, through mailboxes here for people to pick up. None of this was in dispute. These tribal resolutions were a knee-jerk reaction, in my opinion, to a fella who I wrote some tickets to and he went into the council and they passed these resolutions. Okay, whether they're valid or not is, I guess, I, my stance is they're not, and they do not, they shouldn't affect me and the way I do my business to drive down an open county road to check state hunters on BLA, okay, and make sure, and, and check for compliance, right, just doing law, doing my job, all right, so, and where, and I guess I'm confused why, I'm, why the tribe is, has me detained here and is exerting their jurisdiction here. I guess I question the validity of that. Okay. Well, what the resolution says is tribal land trust and deeded land. Um, and that's a, it's their land, I guess, and they can enforce whatever they want to enforce on the land. As a landowner in the state of Montana, you fall, you just can't enact your own rules whenever you feel like it yeah. over public right away. You can't do that. That's a that's against, you just can't do it. There's rules stopping it. So yeah. I don't know why um, the, the council feels that they're... Well, I can't, uh, um, I can't, I'm, no, I'm not over anybody here, so I can't overrule anybody. I know, any I've, I've, I've heard that um, a lot. Since I've been standing there. So, uh, but, but at I, the same time, I mean, we've got to see uh, a lot of the frustration that's, that's the, coming with, uh, what with I, a lot of the stuff. What I here. see is... A dozen illegal elk taken in an area smaller than a township over the last three years. And as the game warden for Blaine County, 
I guess, wouldn't I be derelict in my duties by not addressing those matters and being present and conducting license checks and uh, enforcing compliance rules, working with Tom Jones. Tom and I have worked really well together. You see, he hasn't, he hasn't come here. He's avoiding this, like the plague, I believe. No, I understand. <laughs> I understand where you guys are. But, you know, at some point in time, reason's got to rise to the top here. Well, So if I want to drive down Highway 66, what would happen? To the same thing as this. That's not what I'm assuming. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I understand that maybe they got a point to prove, but just because they, I mean, there's procedures in the law that you got to follow. We need permission for him to come along. Um, I'll go I'll look for it, see where I go. I set it down somewhere. I might have set up my figure when I called in on the radio, so I'll look for it. I, I really can't believe you guys are doing this. It blows my mind. I mean, I it, what you're I, I what you're doing is not not even legit. So. Well, I mean, that's for, like, that ain't, that's the legal thing. That's okay. to decide. In our, in but you realize, Harold. You realize. Hang on and hear me out. You realize that you can be held liable for this. I realize it's probably going to be a court case. And yeah, and you realize if illegal actions are taken here, you could be facing charges whether your bylaw says it's okay or not. That's why I'm asking, if, you, if it really has got to come to this, I mean, we'll, we'll let you do it, and we'll let you take that step, and, and we'll, we'll take it from there. It'll if, be uh, better for all of us if it gets resolved. That well, it'd be, better, be it'd be better for all of us right now, I'm just telling you, it'd be better for all of us right now if we leave with his pickup and the sheriff's in on it now, he's contacted multiple powers at B, and we all sit down and we come to a big sit down, and we figure out what's going on. I will file a complaint against you, Harold. I just want you to be aware of that. Civil rights and criminal. That's what I just need you to understand, that you, you know, where this is at and where this is going. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I discussed it with tribal council and, uh, Okay, but you realize that you're... Just Wednesday I sat down with tribal council, told them I might come to something like this, and you know, all it took was a phone call. So. Okay, right, but you do you do understand that the actions you're taking may very, is, is quite likely illegal, and uh, yeah, you may very well face criminal charges for it. Of tribal law. Okay, well, that's fine as long as you believe that. I'm going to pull my vehicle up here. Are you okay with that? Yeah, you bet. Okay, I'm going to pull my vehicle up here beside his. Okay. And uh, we're going to get his stuff that he wants to take with him into my ride. Okay. That's the way this is going to shake down right now. Okay. okay. And then we'll inventory. He will personally witness it. I will witness it myself. And then everything will be taken out of from there. Okay. Okay. Right. Hey, George, you've got, you're the vice president of the council, right? Sure am. So you're the next highest up guy here because we've had to defer to Harold here on this. So what's the validity? <laughs> of detaining me on a open public road within the state of Montana. What's the authority? The authority, as far as I remember, I'm new to the game, is uh, through resolution that the former council passed, um, I didn't really pay that much attention to it. To it. Yeah. got it, Junior. I just came and saw what I just did. Yeah. I discussed it at length with the both mm -hmm. of them. Well, well, he's, he's the but he's there. on the council, and you said yeah. we need to talk to somebody higher up than you. So that's that's what I'm doing. Well, I'm sure you yeah. said you couldn't answer these questions. It's for somebody yeah. higher up to decide. Well, mm -hmm. that's probably all yeah. got to be resolved. 
He came to he came to me. He's here. I didn't come to you. I came on this road here, so okay. this let there be a confusion. So this is a this is a BLM number drought or county road in, in the state of Montana, Blaine County. Okay, There's plenty of tribal enforcement here. This is tribal deeded property in the state of Montana. Okay, falls under state jurisdiction. It's not submarginal. It's not reservation. What authority do you have to enforce tribal resolutions on non-tribal members here? Where's that authority come from? I don't know. That'd almost have to be a lawyer question, I guess. Well, that, that, that's what surprises me because the council, are they all lawyers? Are they all lawyers? Because they can create these rules and these resolutions. I mean, is it just... I mean, what's what's the deal there? Are they all the lawyers? The guys that are the former guys they, that created these? Uh, not that I know. Not that I know. It's, I guess it's kind of like the, a lot of the state rules and stuff, too, that I guess is, what would you say, enforced on us. You know, we don't, we don't have a say in it either, you know. As voting members of the public, you do. The legislature in the state of Montana creates the laws you're able to vote for those representatives in a democracy. So yeah, everyone has a say. So, detaining me, I guess I'm gonna take the distance again. I wanna make sure this is clear. Now what's going on here today is illegal, okay? Um, and you're towing my pickup. I disagree with it 100%. And if you do it, you're doing it under my protest, okay? I've been detained here for I don't know how long as an American citizen in the state of Montana, not even as a game warden. My civil rights have been violated all morning long, okay? I've been detained illegally, unlawfully, and now you're stealing my enforcement, my signed patrol vehicle, and telling me I have to go to a court that has no jurisdiction over top of non-tribal members to get it back. Is that, am I clear on this? That's what's going on here? If I'm wrong, someone correct me. Like detained, what do you mean by detained? I'm not free to leave. Yes, yeah, I haven't yes. been free to leave all morning. I've been boxed in by this gentleman, Dion, by your tribal fishing game director, Harold Maine, by tribal police. I think Richard Bushy was parked down there, eyeing me for a while. I mean, I'm kind of outnumbered here. Luckily, the Blaine County Sheriff's Department, who has jurisdiction right here, is kind enough to come down here to witness what's going on here. These civil rights infractions that are, are happening. Well, I think this is my personal opinion, stepping out of the law enforcement role of it, but my personal opinion is this is where it needs to stop. You know, let this happen today, but well, the state, I don't care if it's Blaine County, and I, I can't tell Glenn how to do his job, obviously, but um, I trust him in what he'll do. So. Well, I, this happened last fall, and I brought it, I brought it to his attention. Did it come this far? No, no it was just threatened. Was yeah. Just... Yeah, I remember us talking about it last fall, too, and we were kind of all keyed up and worried that it was going to come to something like this. So I said, you know, we'll let this one play out, and um, I'm sure this is going to rattle some cages in this in Helena, you know, it's gonna you hope so. make some people upset. You've got a job to do, and you're how far out here, you know, and say, for instance, one of these guys just decided to, you know, go all out. Not saying they would, but just saying one of them thought about it, and, you know, you, you might back out, my, your back out is, it took me how long to get out here? Yeah, what I'm concerned about, I'm concerned about somebody who isn't of a level of that, yeah. and they can start enforcing the rules out here. Yeah. That part. But even step back from that, and step back to the to the civil rights issue. You know where where does it draw the line? Because it starts here, then it goes to Highway 66, then it moves to US 2, and pretty soon it's not you, it's um, my wife driving down the road. So where does it? Is somewhere? It's we've got to have an interpretation got to be handed down, so this looks like a good place to step in and start it.
Hi fellas. How's it going? <laughs> my, my question is, uh, you're, just so you know you're on tape right now, do you mind if I get a uh, talk to you real quick? Okay. I just was, um, I guess what I want to know is, did they did they ask you to fill out any kind of trespass paperwork or anything like that prior to crossing there? No? Okay. Would you be willing to give your names and date of birth and contact numbers in case uh, we need to contact you for uh, possible uh, witness statements or something like that? Okay. Um, if you guys have any trouble, would you contact uh, at any point while you're out here? Would you just uh, obviously try to resolve things peacefully? But if we, you would just call the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Was there some need for concern while we're out here on that moment? Um, Going through tribal property right now. To get to where we're going. With what's unfolding right now, I just I just want to advise you to use caution. Okay. So, um, I, I don't, you know, I don't think you're going to have to, you know, as long as cool heads and stuff prevail, I don't, I think you'd be all right. But if something comes up that you're concerned or you'd like the sheriff to look into, we would absolutely look into it for you. So, I'm going to write the number down here for it and I'll give it to you. Perfect. No, when they, I drove by them. When I come to the intersection, they just creeped up here. And they hauled their tails up here to get in front of me. Did they go around you? No. Who, yeah. How'd he get here? Oh, he, uh, you see, I was over there on BLM. Yeah. Okay? And there's, when you come to this private property, the road Y is right here. Yeah. It's just a big triangle. Yeah. One, it's the same thing, same trail. Um, I took the, the main road, because, you know, I don't, I don't need to take the two track across the property. I took the main road, back to the intersection, come back up Main County Road. They hauled butt across their property on a two track to get in front of me. Drove out on the BLM, turned around, drove right in the middle of this cattle Nice. And then another one come up, and then the other one come up and pulled up behind me. And then threatened to disarm me, seize my vehicle. And I told him that wasn't going to happen. And the bait has been on since. I was kind of expecting them to, when I told them, I was kind of waiting for them when I told them, you know, what we were picking out of that pickup, I was kind of expecting them to want to seize the computer and stuff like well, the that. The way you put it was right. There's no exception. Yeah. This is what's happening. Yeah. Good job. You did good there. Because if I would have said it, no, I'll stay. You did a good job. I appreciate it. Thank you. the warden sent me a text message here. I just got to one more an hour ago. He said, you need my help? And all my response was, stay. That little hammer gave me a fix it up. Just stay away. <laughs> We'd be hiding behind trees slinging leads, that's what you're saying. Just stay away for now, man. Okay. Is what it is. We got it in a pretty comfortable situation right now, so. Just stay away. My captain came from Glasgow. He's here. Chirino's sure busting back. God, and the sad part about this is, there's illegal hunting going on all around me right now. There's nothing I can do about it. Next fish show game warden, let's, let's get after it when we're done. Huh? Well, even like, just you know, they're so concerned. That's that's the thing I've been sitting here puzzling yeah. over. They're so concerned about illegal um, activity, but the amount of resources they've got tied up on this. The amount of legal stuff, the illegal stuff that can be going on right now on their property. <laughs> Oh, God. It flies in the face of all reason. It just. All right, what's going on, guys? Huh? So what's going on? I got overruled. What's that? I got overruled. Oh, how come? Long story. But we do have to search, and then it will be resolved. That's it. I'm not gonna take it. So well, I'll so we'll mail it to you or whatever. Oh, mail it to my mail it to my boss. No, so you know what? Mail it to the county. And then we'll, 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 we'll mail it to the boss. So are you releasing me and my vehicle? Well, we're free to go. So, 
Can I go back to work now, please? Wait, wait, wait. I don't have to ask permission because I'm on an open way of staying. No, 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 the, the resolution still applies. We just went to that. That's all you have to but do. But you were just told that what you, what you were overruled. And for seizing the vehicle. For seizing the vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, at this time, for seizing the vehicle. I think that's, 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 that's what I'm overruled on, is seizing the vehicle, not the jurisdictional issue. That's why, that's why you, you're still... And who made the decision, just so I know? I'd like to, I just, for my... Find out in court. I just think, yes, find out why do court. I got to go to court? Okay, well, you know, like, what my supervisor said, you know, the citation will be issued to your supervisor, and you can take it up in court. That's fine. Right. Go ahead. And discuss yeah. it in the court. Yeah. Well, the guys seem like a big waste of time. I appreciate it. Well, all well, right. Hopefully it gets resolved, maybe. Maybe next time well, we're go we'll need, we we'll, can address we'll need, we'll need some cooperation specific. across yeah. the table. Yeah, it is. It's been there. We've reached out three times so far. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, guys, well, it's been real. It's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun. We'll be in touch.